It's the toughest lineup of poker stars ever gathered, but only one will be crowned champion. This is one poker show you won't want to miss. The Devilfish got some points to get back in the Premier League, but that didn't stop the moaning. Fucking hate this game. This game's so sick. Well, I'm an unlucky fucker at this place, I'll tell you. Wow. And new boy JC Tran took down a perfect 10. I want to put my foot on the gas, kind of pull away and uh, get a comfortable lead and not worry about, you know, uh, sneaking in and, and, and on the final table in the last couple of heats. You know, I like to go out there and, and kind of lock it up early. That way I, I could take the pressure off of me and, you know, be able to relax the last couple of heats. Coming up, Trans back on the table in tonight's lineup, which also sees the first clash between our two ladies of the Premier League. And Vicky's already wound up by comments Phil Helmuth made to her at the table. He said, uh, I'm going to have to try and make a hand stand up against Vicky, of all people. And I said, when you say, of all people, and he said, you don't want to know. I can't even respond to you, Vicky. I mean, it's unbelievable. I can't, there's so many, there's so many ripe comments. I have like three that just pop to mind that are just so perfect. But you're a girl, and I just feel like I have to just leave you alone. Believe me, you don't want to know. That I didn't like. It means you've entered the fray, Vicky. When do you think you'll be able to get over that and start getting involved in being insulted ever? <laughs> he chose to treat me as if it was a miracle I could even manage to get on my chair at the table. And I've got three times his points. You know, if I didn't take a bit of pleasure in that, I wouldn't be human. Going into tonight's match, J.C. Tran will be in action again. A nice score here, and he can pretty much pull away from the field. You are helping to be playing again, capitalizing on his win last time out, as will Vicky Corrin. Could be some big movement in the top in the playoff zone. Annette Oberstad, she's been very steady. Look for that to continue. And Peter Eastgate wants to improve on his bagel last time. End in the relegation zone. Nanad Medic, this could be the time for him. If he doesn't get grooving tonight, takes a bagel or a two, could be bad hunting grounds. Players walking in for this heat. Among them, of course, the current World Series of Poker champion and the current league leader in the table. And a lot of guys who really need points. You can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth a thousand, blues are two, reds five thousand each. There's a hundred thousand in front of every player and six hundred K in play. International flavor representing this whole Premier League tonight. Rolling six different nationalities on this table. Roland, uh, I mean, you you get really into sort of the inner dynamics of this Premier League. Uh, what's going on here? I mean, who's mad? Who's angry? Who's been drunk all the time among the players at this table? You know, we haven't seen much of Peter East get away from the table. He very much keeps himself to himself. Be interesting to see. You know, I think he he seems very focused. Net's been drunk. <laughs> Raise to 9,000 total. And the raises come to nine. Now, how many, does Vicky have an option here? This is more like her MO, isn't it? She doesn't yes. really like to play uh, too many hands early. And yeah, I mean, you're, you, there's no set value when you're putting in 10% of your stack uh, in, in one of these things. JC Trans called. What do you think's in JC Trans' mind about getting points now? Does he, just, does he want to win every, every time? Or is he looking just to sort of not get knocked out first? How do you feel if he got 20 points? Um, 10,000. You're just playing very confidently and you, you think you can, you can do pretty well. Between call, fold, and check raise, wh wh where do you think JC is going to lean here? Call. Probably fold or check raise. <laughs> He's called and is just sort of reevaluating on the turn. <laughs> I mean, Yuhan knows exactly where he's at. May, yeah, I mean, might yeah, it be better such off? Such a great flop. And yeah. What a turn for you, I help you. I mean, he just, if he needed any knowledge, he, I could, mean, he could even check. Well, him. I was just saying, a guy like Tom Dwan would probably, like, check 20, here 000. thinking he's going to make more money on the river, right? JC is very smart. You know, imagine if LP had Ace King here. You see JC looking at it, looking at it, and thinking. Maybe because of the history, is there anything about the history of these guys or what they've shown in the Premier League so far to indicate that Helpy might not have it right now for JC. He knows that Yuha's tight. Might just balance him towards the fold. Yeah. Helpy takes it on the turn. I do I do get the feeling that he may not have maximized that pot rolling, but I mean, he's, he's happy <laughs> enough, right? 
This unique Premier League format sees every player garnering points for where they finish in every match. First place, of course, 10 points, and sixth place gets the bagel. Folded around to Ms. Corrin on the button. Nine. Vicky will be raising with this. And look how dour Nanad Medic is, still thinking about his points right now. Now it's serious. Ace King in the big blind for Annette Oberstad. Raise on the button, call on the small blind. This is automatic re raise, isn't it? Of course, and it's an interesting dynamic because it's Vicky who's raised. It's 22,000 total. Now, did you actually have a hand or just a plan against me? Or you actually have some kind of... I guess if you told me it would spoil the fun. First time Annette and Vicky are playing together. Um, this is an interesting Why dynamic. would Vicky say that and t say that she's weak already? I mean, she's she, already given her hand away. She's planning on folding it. I mean... But Roland, you have to say, I mean... Everybody, the people that have watched Vicky, they so far they do know she plays very tight early on. So you'd have to give her credit for something there, wouldn't you? It might have been a plan, but I'm not telling. It's going to be an interesting matchup between these two ladies. Vicky in her third season, while for 19-year-old Annette, her Premier League debut. Being a girl at a table with nine boys, it, it can be intimidating at times. It just depends, like, what you think of yourself, and if you do have the confidence, you can easily beat them. I've always overdone the kind of, you know, giggling, flirting. Oh, that's so kind of you to give me advice because I don't want the guys to be scared. You look at Annette, 19, 20 years old, she has no time for that bullshit. You know, she puts it out there. She's aggressive. She thinks she's the best. She's not afraid to say so. You know I don't like to fold, right? I don't rub anyone. Oh, shit. I just play good hands. I would never be like that in a million years. I think it's just part of being a female. Like, yeah, you do get jealous, and yeah, you don't want them to do better than you, but... It's just part of the game, I guess. It's all very well sitting back and going, oh yeah, no, I'm really supportive of the younger women coming up and hooray for her and I really hope she does well. No one, she's against me. I mean, I hope she breaks her ankle and can't make it to the studio. Oh, my fault. <laughs> but she, no. she made a move and just swallowed <laughs> the pot. That was all me. I can tell you one thing, Roland. I was, Nenad was here with yeah, me in the box the last time ball, watching <laughs> Vicky. And every time she made a play, he said, oh my God, I'm going to have to start looking her up. Because Vicky actually... You know, when she was doing a lot of re-raising, sometimes she doesn't always have it. <laughs> She's got a tight image, but she doesn't need the goods to re-raise, does she? Not really. I mean... Me and one of the best. But, uh, she needs something. <laughs> Interesting flop. You know how you have got, uh, got a ball for the, for the straight, but it's... You know, when you've got a low pair like that and it does come a pair, you think it's less likely that the high card hands will have connected. Check. Yuha. Check. Playing this a little cautiously. Oh, Nanad made it. A big card. And I mean, Yuha, no matter what, he'll think he, he, he's, he's got about 10 outs, right? I mean, he, he may. I think there's a, a chance he may want to pay off a bet here. Small bet he might call, yeah. 9,000. You kind of feel like the Nad was going to make that bet regardless of uh, an, any card under a nine, don't you think? Yeah, it looked like he, he was betting. I think you have a dustbin here. Nad will be sick, but he won't get any more money. So we're starting to... I think w when a lot of these players go into the tank now, they're kind of going nice. over what people think of them and what they've shown so far. I mean, doesn't that start to come into it, Roland, or...? Are you not going to be thinking about that when you sit down next time? No, of course. That you're always thinking about people's images of you and what, what, you know. It's really important if you can mix it up. If you can actually think like, last time I played like this, and they're all thinking that because you know they're not they're not thinking that far back. They're just going to be thinking one or two heats back the last time they played with you. And you just know. You, I mean, Tom Duan will play the same way every time. Vicky will know. probably play the same way every Pretty time. Yuha will play the same way. Annette will play That's the why same he's way. The best. <laughs> You know, Tony and Del, everyone, the you know, pretty much will play the same Why way. If you can best. just find that to mix it up. And I think Eastgate's maybe Pass. just shown a little bit glimpses of that. Pass. So I mean, far, Medics, yeah. You th you th and you think Eastgate's going to be uh, dangerous here? If you can oh. if you can change your play from heat to heat, no then, race. you know, that's a big advantage in these things. I, I, I 
I played very, very solid in my first heat and, and, and pretty loose uh, in the second heat. And uh, I think that, that worked to my advantage. People didn't expect either time. Roland, these two, uh, Eastgate and JC Tran, this is now, this is their third match, and this is the yeah. third time they're playing yeah. against each other, and they've played an enormous amount of pots together. Um, they, they've actually, they've really battled, of course, JC Tran coming okay. first and Eastgate coming second, uh, the first match. And, you know, th these guys are developing a relationship. Pass. Yeah, of course, you have the, the history of pots and how people act, and a, and a world-class player like JC Tran will pick up on anything that Eastgate does. Um, and Eastgate will have the, the hands they've played together in his mind. It does affect how, how you play following pots. And, and it's a very high level of poker play that you'll, you'll see. You might not always be able to pick it up straight away because uh, it's not apparent, but the, these guys are playing at an incredibly high level, Peter Eastgate and JC Tran. Actually, if it's not me, I am rooting for you. <laughs> One guy gets all the points, so and I'm drawing good then. Yeah, you gotta go. Pass. Pass. I feel like there's a lot of people actually sort of in the middle of the pack, Pace, the bottom 5, of the pack, Roland, who, who wouldn't mind seeing JC Tran win again, if you know what I mean. If he gobbles up those points, Pace. it kind of, it makes the, the bottom of the pack closer to the, to the middle and top. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. The other thing is you don't want someone to have too many chips for the final, if you're looking at the main prize. Cool. And, uh... This was Eastgate making it 5,000 and Medic calling from the big blind. Uh, this is more like the Eastgate we saw in the first heat. Uh, making a lot of uh, raises uh, if no one else opens the pot. 6,000. Take. And this is the Eastgate, you were saying this is the Eastgate that, that he's a very good player. This is the Eastgate that I like. I mean, he did very well in the first heat uh, opening up these pots. Maybe he's got a better seat for it tonight. Tran in the big blind. And he's nice. not interested. Race to 5,000 total. Uh, nice. I tell you, guys like Tom nice. Dwan, and I think Nanad Medic as well, um, cool. me and two of the best. They're really convinced that, that Yuha is a very predictable player. He's very much an opponent of opening pots uh, early on, actually. Believe it or not, he, he will be opening more than you think. This Check. is trouble. Two pair and Medic has actually flopped the Ten three thousand. jacks. And, uh, you know, if Medic makes a raise here, Roland, doesn't it look very similar to the play he made against Bill Helm? Very similar. It looks almost identical sort of flop. And that, that, that might be in the mind of your help. Raise to 27,000. Just to recap, in the earlier match, Medic made a oh. play on Phil Helmuth who had a similar type of hand to help and Phil folded it straight away and Nanad had nothing. Here though, he's got the three jacks. And uh, this is what they call, you can make any kind of move at any kind of time, don't they? He's set this up. Yeah, I mean, he, he's advertised earlier on in the exact same play. Help, he wasn't in that heat, but was watching from the, the commentary book. Yeah, I mean, there's no, he will definitely be aware of it. And is this a huge, can help escape from this? Really? He's fallen for it. Yeah, he's, he's fallen, fallen for, for it, it. Roland. He's been outplayed. He has. Three Medic's got him. No, I'm gonna take this off. Now, is this the last money you has putting in this pot? Or could he end up going for everything? You know, if N N Medic was sitting here bluffing, would we not be saying what a great play by you, huh? Sure. I mean, if you're Nenad right here, between calling and going all in, is it just... So tough. I'll make it 41 more. All in. Okay, re-raise, all in. So much in the 27, guys. And... I mean, Yuhan's <laughs> gonna think about this, Roland, but, but based on his read of Nanad, uh, is it still possible that he's got Nanad beat? Possibly he's got a flush draw, but... Then you still have over cards and it'll only be 50-50. You start to hate it now. What would DeWolf do? Ask yourself that question. The Nad's loving this situation. Yeah, he's Roland. asking what I would do if I was out there. Huh? 
people up here in the box of Devilfish and Tom Dwan criticize you how a little bit for being averse to the big pot. But pass. he's made the pass. He's made the pass. It's a good pass. It is a good pass. It's a flashy. It's a I, don't think you pass. I really don't think you did that much wrong in that pot. I go on the record and saying he asked a question and that didn't have to have it. It's a bad situation and that played it great. Looking at the leaderboard, Medic winning the big pot and getting 165,000. You are all of a sudden in a bit of trouble. The two point leaders in this heat right now, bottom of the leaderboard. Among the great things that uh, that play uh, for you, huh? it <laughs> obviously it lost him a lot of chips. It also sent a message for the future that uh, don't be trying fast. to make this play on him and not expect him to, to be able to repop you to ask the other question, right? All the hands go into yeah, the memory bank of the other players, like you know. Reaction, everyone's right? good enough he and experienced enough first, to take it on board. The They'll have just seen him cool. free bet the flop there with what they think might not be might not be a lot. It wasn't a lot. Raised to seven it's the exact tokens. play that Phil Helmuth didn't Pass. make, isn't it? Pass. And that's it why is. people want to make that play on Phil Helmuth Pass. more often. Exactly. Phil Helmuth was shown to be exploitable oh. in a way that Yuha wasn't. How do you think Nenad is going to use these chips? He sh He's straight into the next hand, but obviously he's got kind of a biggie here, ace queen. One of us it's has a 10, very big 14, oh. 17. It's a horror flop for Vic yes. Victoria Collin. Is this the day that Nenad finally gets some <laughs> gets some things going his way, Roland? Ten thousand. It's very Four. possible. You don't want to think about it, but... Check and call. A I'm real a blank on the turn could be really big trouble. Oh, Victoria okay. Collin. You know, and she, she's, it looks like she's played this hand roll to sort of just sort of check and call Nenad Medic. Wow, how can he, how can he check that? That's a brilliant check by Nenad. I don't know what Te he Tell knew. me about it. Did he, did he, did he see her jump? The alarm bells would have gone off. She could have played this differently and got, uh, got a, a full double up. 20,000. Anyway, she would have gotten her money in behind. <laughs> What's going through Nenad's mind right now? Uh, you know, Vicky doesn't do this with, with nothing very often. But his hand is just, is just too strong. Oh no, he's wow. not raising, is he? Raised to 40,000. I think I have to call. That is a mistake yeah, on his part now. Yeah, I call. Call. Ace-Queen? Call of 20. <clears throat> it was really interesting, and so he made that check on the river roll he because he wanted to get action from hands that he Almost that he beat that were going to fold the turn. Is that is that, that what it was about? Yeah, it partly was that. Point. I mean, it's it's very high level thinking, but he he was just looking for extra value, and you know, if the jack hasn't come down, he might get that extra value. Been, so you, you can't again fault him because you did hit the jack. Turn, turn it. On the turn, yeah. Vicky's got the chip lead now. I can't remember her ever having this many chips so early. Race to 6,000 times. And here the comes Medic. Very active. Yeah. I mean, this, this is... We race to this is 16, classic Annette Pass. Overstad, isn't it? Pass. But it's Pass. it's so extreme Pass. as to be a little dangerous, role, and She had four players behind her. Yeah, you're not really gaining that much uh, in this format. I mean, she likes to re-raise in position. That's kind of her. That's her. You know, her game, really. I mean, Pass. Roland, there is this feeling Pass. about Annette when she's folded this hand, but Raise it seems like a lot of the players they say, "Well, we know what she's doing," but yet, Pass. is she is she Pull. exploitable? I yeah, mean, Annette really is exploitable. I mean. I was speaking to Patrick Antonius, and he said, "Well, if he has, a, if he, he's played in that before in the World Series, he had a lot of success Ooh. against her when the one when she won, and uh, he feels her to be. He said he had the perfect medicine for her. And she's a good player, but you know, exploitable." Vicky's just called this from the small blind, and um, I feel like, okay. you know, the Devilfish was more of the mind that you need to re-raise Peter Eastgate if you're going to play if you're going to play against his raise. Yeah, I agree with, with that. Um, and Vicky, you know, when she taps the table in that way, kind of disinterested, she might start talking and then, you know, it, it's giving away too much against these world-class players. You know, if you've got a plan, put it into action. Raise to 
22 times. Now, it's a pretty big question she's asking. I mean, Eastgate's kicker is the same as a bluff, isn't it? It is, and against Vicky, but he's not going to fold the top pair. He might just peel one off. He might call. Do you think Vicky's got a second bullet if he does call? Is that what he's thinking, that she won't have the second bullet if he calls? We'll see if East, what Eastgate thinks. Cool. I mean, do you think do you think Peter's a, a, a can he read physically players? Obviously, he did a I lot. I don't know. He can, but he's definitely reading his own hand. But Vicky has out, and I, I like you know the audacity that she's she's shown in this play. I'd slightly helped Eastgate's kicker. Wow. I mean, one thing you have to say, Roland. This is a Vicky Corn that has not, she has not shown this gear in the Premier League so far. Morning. Wow! No! Ugh. Yuck. I think that was pretty magical. You think I it mean, was it's a good read by Eastgate for, start, for starters. I mean, okay. you know, against Vicky. Vicky's just going to think, you know, the first time I ever try anything. I don't know. Queen three. Roland, all in against a Vicky Corrin check raise lead out, and he's I mean, a new chip leader. Eastgate. I mean, you've got to give Vicky some credit for this, the way yeah. she played the hand. She's shown good heart and and bad timing, but um, the side of her game that we didn't think that she was going to show, she showed it, and I, I think that both players can come away with a lot of credit from that hand. I mean, Vicky's clearly come in here with... I think every time she comes into one of these Premier League matches, she's come in with a plan, and then she's had the guts to execute it. Overstop from the button with nothing. And she's got a very tough seat for button raises, doesn't she, Roland? Yeah, JC and Peter aren't going to give her much. Cool. Now, if the ace flops, she is going to be in a bit of some trouble. But... Ooh. Oh, boy. But she's got a flesh draw. Yeah. Wow, all people. the money could go in here. Right. If, if Eastgate decides to fast wow, play it, right? what a flop they found here. That's un if Eastgate I mean, decides to fast play it, and you can see, even though actually, Overstock's trailing, she's only she's got 40%. She knows she's got lots of outs, no matter what. JC had 6-4. He did not. <laughs> if Eastgate fast plays this, the money's going in, right? Yeah. He did. To 20, it is going in. This is an all-in situation here. Marlon. Two ways, all-in. I call. Call. I will draw. It's happened, and this is what happens when two aggressive players get big hands, right, Roland? And you raise with 2 7 on the button. Do you think so? Because I have 7 deuce. What do you say? Welcome to the world of, of the World Series champion. Is that, yeah. your, is that your line, Roland? I'm giving it to Peter Eastgate, this one. 75% here. It's the 4, it's the diamond. Those are the cards for Annette. There you go. Nice wow. Yeah. Sorry. Good luck. She's got the bagel. Like, you never would have thought a net would get a bagel early, would you? She got a bagel, and uh, I wonder what she's going to think. I mean, once the flop yeah. comes down, she's in a world. She's in a world right. of uh, trouble if she doesn't hit. Doesn't look happy, does she? 18 hands. It hasn't even been a full first level, and the World Series of Poker champion. Geez, she's got nearly half the chips in play. I think that people were expecting me to play pretty tight from what I had been playing in the, in the previous heats. So I figured maybe if I open up a, a bit, a bit uh, they're going to give me a ton of respect. And uh, I also know that Eastgate, he kind of ran me over in the first heat. At least I felt he did. I didn't see all the hands, but I felt so. And I just didn't want to let me let him keep running me over all the time. So, I mean, when I flop a big draw like I did, I'm just going to get all my chips in. Nanad's in there in second place right now. You just kind of get the feeling that he actually wouldn't mind six points right now. I mean, he's only got three. Would Medic take six points and leave if it was offered to him? I think he would. I think anyone would in any heat. Six points is, Is there a strategy for playing for second? I mean, Vicky seems to have kind of been that player uh, sometimes, and it's been very well for her. She plays to get to the top three and then, you know, go from there. This is a nice little re-race. 44. This this pot's pretty much over, isn't it? Yeah, he's going to think about it. Think about it. 
you were talking about Vicky looking confident and unconfident. Is this a confident look? I, I, I mean, what makes it a confident look? Maybe it's just because we can see the cards. But... Maybe it's just because we can see the cards, but uh, I don't know. When she looks weak, I think I think I can pick something up, but maybe you know, maybe I can't. Who knows? Let's see if I can do it out on the felt. Very subtle thing. This. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just looking at her jewelry. I mean, well, that's a nice necklace she's got. Those diamonds. I think, I think she's visited the Devilfish's store. <laughs> <laughs> Bling. Big blind here for Eastgate, and the blind's obviously now two in four thousand. <laughs> this is sort of, this is a, uh, this is where, uh, excuse me, Annette left off. I mean, Tran and Eastgate in the blinds, it's. It's no fun. See, with Vicky limping and showing right. weakness, Serb in position title. takes the, takes the initiative. Right. Serb yeah. is the nickname of Nanad Medic. Now, in Premier League one role, and she did show a little bit of the limp re-raise all in. I mean... The uh, tilt of the head. Could you pick this one off? I'd be very impressed if she can you know, find that. Ten Queen is actually one of the hands that plays better if you do kind of end up all in, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think she she did the right thing there. Um, you know, he could have a big hand, and she's already lost a big pot. And she she can't call that out of position against uh, a strong player like the, right. you know with that sort of hand so asking for trouble. So I think she did the right thing to get away. Although the limp in the first place is weak. Right. You know, I, I thought, people give her a lot of criticism. You know, if someone else did the limp, they'd think that's tricky. If it was JC. <coughs> Party pot. Party pot. Party pot. Party pot. Well, you could talk about the difference between expectations uh, and executions. I mean, you talk about Vicky getting a lot. There is no question that Vicky has... Oh, been, right. been on top of her A game since she's been here in this Maybe. Premier League. You know, it's no accident with her place in the standings, is it? No, I mean there's a lot of luck involved, but she's she's played she's played better better than people thought, and she she's a, you know she's been around the game a long time. Yep. yep. It's uh she, she she's not J C Tran. She's not an 11-time bracelet winner. She's a, she's a good poker player. This is uh, trouble for Helpy. Good spot for Eastgate. They both got two pair. Eastgate's kicker is going to play most of the time. Yeah, I mean, what a situation. You, you all may not get away from this, huh? No, because no, he I won't get away. Queen, I yeah, I know, but that's only one. <laughs> Helpy's yeah. only got 50. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, Peter's all in. And <laughs> Another ugly spot for Helpy. I think you did wrong, you know, you'd better turn it all going down. <laughs> oh, he actually yeah. can't even hit a deuce, that's the ugly spot. Plus yeah, and the fact is, I mean, if he does put Eastgate on the three, sort of, there will be a lot of, you know, in his mind, there'll be a lot of split pots. I mean, it could be any three, right? I bet 20, you make it 40. Yeah. If you have a three, I'm in a bad shape. Wow. Have a three also. How much has he put in? You see, he's already put in 18. The, the pot's 71 now. His right? stack would have gone down from 52 to 33, I think. Yeah. Even though he's in bad shape, he has to yeah. call, huh? Yeah, I think he has queen. to call. Hasn't made anything wrong there. Just king a bit of a bad setup. <laughs> 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 the queen's, king no king <laughs> the queen's no good. King or an ace. The queen's no good. Three is okay. Three is okay, too. King or ace. King or ace is the best. King or ace is your help, he's out. Seven, no good. No good. <laughs> Helpy gone, gone on your bike. Another yeah. disappointment after, you know, two disappointments and one victory. He's in good shape though in the in uh, the league. He is. And Aron, I mean, as you said before, he actually came in. He played well and he sent some messages about not being pushed around. He did. He did indeed send some messages. But there's only one message he's got, and that's I busted him. <laughs>
There hasn't even been a level and a half yet. Three, two, five for Eastgate and two Busterinos. Everyone guaranteed now three points at least. Welcome yeah, back to the Premier League poker. Roland DeWolf and I having a good time. Well, Price, 10, there's a little bit of chatter going on, but nobody seems to be engaging Peter Eastgate. <laughs> He's just like mean now, isn't he? Pass. He's a machine. Uh, JC made a a big re-raise with Ace-5 in the last match against the Eastgate button raise. I guess this is a very similar. You'd be surprised if he didn't just push here, wouldn't you? Or do you, do you, Yeah. I mean, I mean, he knows that Pete is, he's well ahead of Peter's range. Oh. Well, I'm not sure about this because, you know, Peter's not going to... Uh, JC, JC is going to have to hit the flop, I think. Unless he... I mean, he, you, can, you never know what he's got in his arsenal. He might be betting any flop. He's going to struggle here. That's a good flop for the stop and go. Well, no, I don't think it is. I think it's a bad flop for a stop and go. It's the sort of flop that hits a razor. 10,000. Eastgate, I mean, excuse me, Tran played Eastgate really well in their heads up match during the first heat. Seemed to know where Peter was at a lot of the time. This guy, you know, if this gets through, even if it doesn't, I think it's a, it's a good move. Leading bet. Peter has to really commit whatever JC has if he if he wants to carry on with this pot. What JC has is about forty one thousand back, I think, Roland. So he's gonna have to put about fifty K in. And on balance Peter knows he's in a good situation, he doesn't really want to double JC up, but it's the way Peter's mind works, he he sometimes can what? get involved in duel. That was going to be a split pot most of the time, wasn't it? It was, it was. Uh, I, had it, I had it twice. Good statement, really good. Yowacha? Uh, huh? Is it Yowacha? I don't know, G, U, I don't know, maybe on a G, G, U, A. Is it Yowacha Grill? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pass. This looks like a raise. Raise 11,000 total. Pass. That's respect. This is where Peter is getting on. <laughs> uh, wow. And it's obviously Eastgate's winning, but Ace-8, I mean, it feels like a pretty good a hand. Oh, what do you think, Roland? Yeah, that's true. Are there tactical considerations? It could be good. He could be up against Ace-5. I mean... I wish I watched the World Series. I should watch more TV. I did watch you play yesterday. Played kind of tight. People, people said you were an animal, and then you played kind of tight. Just take it all. I don't think I can. There. I don't think I can. You know, he's only put in 12. He can yeah, fold here and still have a great chance at <laughs> those extra points, right? So good at getting away. Yeah, I can't no. fold ace queen all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I always slide the cards around because I think if it goes over, it reflects. You think if it's flat, it doesn't. Yeah, if it's flat, well, it doesn't. No, no, no. If you lift, lift it up, a little bit, then it does. I was good. Someone right of a different temperament, yeah. Roland, yeah. might have felt obliged to call. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was a sort of bot where Eastgate's pushing with a lot of weight, worse aces. Maybe the too point strong. situation too strong. Got to serve, but he didn't really know a lot about the opponent. It's, it's a good fold, but I wouldn't have had a problem with the call either. It was, I think it was pretty marginal. Yeah. So what kind I of mean, animal did he Tactically. Eastgate wouldn't really be out of line for, like, re-raising with a lot of suited connectors and stuff, would he? I mean, you know no, I don't think so. You know, because he knows he... Raise. Some animals are naturally cautious, though, the badger. And the fact yeah. that he's got all those chips. Yeah, the badger, that's a Canadian animal. It is? I don't know. Is there this idea that Eastgate, even though he's got the chips to make these loose kind of re-raises, he shouldn't... Raise 11,000. He shouldn't, because he shouldn't give away his chips. Well, he seems to have had a... How much you got? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. We're about to see a key pot in the Nad Medici's Premier League. Yeah. Eastgate has, is, is going to re-raise no matter what, right? I think yes. Yeah. If these guys play a race... Re-raise. And Medici, oh. if Medici loses here, oh. he's going to have three cool. points. 
through three, excuse me, uh, six points through three heats, Roland. That's not going to be enough to make the final table well, at that rate. At the rate, no, but you know, game, he hasn't good. had any luck in these That's races. Oh, wow. Look wow. Has to be <laughs> wow. Slight favorite, though, Medich. He's gone slight like favorite. Eastgate needs sweat. a heart. A, a seven. heart or seven. Oh, oh no! Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. He's done! He uh -oh. skated again. <laughs> <laughs> Serb's had no <laughs> luck. What? He has ever. played well. He plays well. He plays, well. Great. He plays no, really well. <laughs> Another rough day. And Roland, he's really going to be under pressure his last three matches. <laughs> 0 for 4 on the all in coin flips. And, uh, yeah. It's just the way it happens sometimes. Uh, hopefully it'll turn around for me though. If you remember, uh, well, I mean obviously Vicky's still in this. It'll be interesting to see how this three plays out. Oh, but oh, if it's an oh, Eastgate oh, versus no, Tran oh. rematch, Eastgate had a huge chip lead on Tran when they got heads up last time, and then Tran picked them apart. He did. Um, Price, 10,000 total. And obviously there have been players some players in this Premier League who weren't interested in asking what the hands were after the fact, but I know Eastgate hasn't been guilty of that. So I can't wait to see. Can't wait to see how this one plays out. It could be difficult if uh, you know, if, if, a, if a king and an eight or a king and a queen were to come out. It's a good flop for Eastgate with the... With the Check. Check. JC is capable of having an ace in this spot, and he skate is as well? Yes, even now. Check. Check. And, and this is, East Gate is, he, he wants to just show down the king for value right he now? He does at the moment, yeah, he's just hoping that JC can avoid. Do, do you like that line? I don't, I don't hate it at all. Check. Check. Queen high. King high. In those hands. <laughs> I passed a six. <laughs> Got to be in it to win it, Vicky. Is this under the heading of sometimes okay. when the most aggressive players in the world come this up against each other, they just <laughs> slow down? Or maybe... No, no. Else. As we can see, not. 61,000 left for JC. I believe you were checking king high. 15 big blinds. Especially the turn when you all check the turn. The chips, king all the chips there. And sort of the dynamics right now, um, say like it, Vicky's the kind of player who could re raise this, but because of the, this this mini bubble, Eastgate can be very aggressive uh, in this spot. Indeed. Danny. Now it's, it's only six thousand more. You know oh. what, Vicky? Vicky, you could tell she wasn't going to re raise. She, was, she gives away too much. She, in, in face and time. Oh dear. Check. Oh. All in. Oh. No. Oh. He's absolutely oh. done her. Yeah. You were king? Yeah. Wow. Should have raised before. Well, I put out. He set that up really. <laughs> <laughs> he seems. A lot of people have been talking about how to play Vicky and they've. <sighs> She's been getting the better of them. He has gotten absolutely destroyed her in every key pot today. Yeah, he's, he's, he's played really number. well. So you know, she has out. Seven of clubs would be a very interesting one. Seven of spades gives nearly maximum outs. Well, the eight's no longer an out. You got one block. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be a jack. A gotta six. be a nine, a six. No, Ooh. Peter Eastgate. All right. Well done. Roland, it's Good only luck. been oh, 31 sure. hands. See you later. Again. Wow. We got more have, we, have we ever seen this? No. Oh, no this, give me the victory. Vicky's going to take four <laughs> points, but this points. is this is the quickest one ever. This beats Tony G's record against wow, five internet qualifiers. <laughs> Eastgate is he's destroyed. Heads up in 32 <laughs> hands. He's knocked them all out. I don't feel happy about the heat. I decided to play differently just to confuse them. But, yeah, I don't like it. Thank you.
So far, this has been a thoroughly dominating performance from the World Series of Poker champion, Peter Eastgate. He hasn't just beaten them, he's thrashed them, he's demolished them, and most of the big key pots, Roland, have not been huge hands. Well, actually, he's had the money in good on uh, three out of the four, and the fourth was a coin flip, so he hasn't actually been bad, but his hands have been holding up. He's been playing great, he's got the confidence. I suppose if there's anyone he didn't want to be facing, even with such a short stack, it's probably JC because he's been the standout player of the Premier League so he, far. He has been, and even with no luck here tonight, has managed to worm his way to the head up. That's a sign of a great player. But now facing, Good luck. Good luck. well, it's something like a, between an 8 and 9 to 1 uh, chip disadvantage. Uh, even a bigger chip disadvantage than he faced in the first heads up when he came back and beat Peter Eastgate. Uh, is this all about the first all-in for you? Well, I'm, well, I mean, if if Peter wins it, it it's uh, it's definitely about the first all-in. Among the good things for J.C. Tran, he's had success against Peter Eastgate, and of course, the size of the blinds, Roland. The size of the blinds. Um, uh, this is a hand you'd be willing to go all in with, I think. Raise ten thousand total. I just wonder what's going to be in J.C.'s head about how to play this. Uh, you know, he's got 15 big blinds. Is that what he's thinking? Or is he going to be... He's not folding here. Cool. But, you know, you, you can't afford to cause too many of these raises. And right. He knows... He now, there's 20,000 out there, and JC's... Kay. He's got about 50 back. You know, Peter is smart. It's a smart... Uh, Hot check. Just controlling pot size, allowing JC to bluff. What is what are Peter's intentions for this turn? What are JC's? He doesn't really know where he is. Check. Check. JC not getting out of line here at all. The four, the six, the king. Didn't come, and that's check. a great card for, JC, for Peter. He might even try and get some value here. Check. King high. Ace high. Well, some players may have gone broke with JC's hand there if they had a little adrenaline yeah, flowing. It, yeah, I mean, JC did well to minimize that. However, he's 10% uh, it's, it's of his stack in the toilet already, or 15 from the heads up. <laughs> Not so much the toilet, but the bank, as it's known as Peter Eastgate stack. <laughs> Been listening to JC talk all week, Roland. Been listening to some of his interviews, seen some of his interviews from the internet, and he's a guy who says that he... he he likes to let the game come to him. Um, oh. He's definitely done that so far tonight. There's <laughs> there's not much more to bring to him at this stage. I mean, he's... Uh, I don't know. How many pots does he have left? Check. Check. The implications here, um, Roland. J.C. Tran is going to still be the, the league... Wow. Check. Might he want to check again? Or has he got a better chance of getting on on Eastgate's range of hands if he sticks a little bet in? Yeah, I think he's got to try and open the bank. 5,000. <laughs> you hate that when you're JC. He, he can't you hate get to win that. water from a stone. <laughs> when the stone has nothing. <laughs> the only way you can beat that stone is with paper. Can move all in. <laughs> I know you, obviously, Roland. You like your Rochambeau game. How has the Rochambeau gone for you so far? Well, paper scissors is. Uh, well, the only guy who's beaten me is JC. So he seems to be winning everything. <laughs> the implications in, in the league tables for this heads up, of course, Roland. JC is going to be the points leader at the end of this, no matter what. He'll have either 26 or 30. Cool. For Eastgate, if he wins here, he'll have 16 right. points, which will put him in second. And if he, if JC manages to come back and beat him, Eastgate will only have, uh, I believe, 12, which will put him Ooh, that's trouble just for. inside the top four. 5,000. Trouble for Eastgate. Yeah. JC's going to get a double up, isn't he? Race to 10. Re raise. All in. Got to do? Yep. Christ. 
<laughs> yeah, you can, this is you can see this is not according to script. As many chips as he has, we're all in. As many chips as he has, he's hoping to get this done early, isn't he? No help. Just the five, isn't it? It is. A couple of them in there. A couple. Oh, straight. And this is the first crick in the in the back. That's nothing. It's nothing, but you can see by that smile, JC's thinking, "I've I've got hope, and hope's a good thing." Yeah. And uh, but I just wonder if if JC is going to basically aim it with his chip disadvantage now, especially because of if you're thinking he will be raising no pots pre-flop. Is that sort of the idea? Cool. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be put in. Like in this little spot. Raise eight thousand more. And you know, as as Peter said, cool. you know, he could have raised the last pot. I mean, uh, it's a good time for him to sort of use this weapon of, of power poker, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see something. Uh, but they both miss. Uh oh, do you have the feeling? Twelve thousand. Huge flop for JC. It's such a, it's such a big flop. He's got lots of options on how to get these chips in. Yeah. Or is slowly going to be the best way. He fast played the three deuces last hand and got on. There, there has just been this thing, Roland, where you just kind of assume that when JC is playing post flop, if there is a way to get the maximum, he's going to find out what way that is. So you just have to assume he's going to call here just because it's the right thing, right? Calling would be the, the play here, and he's done oh. it. I mean, if a spade was to four or an ace, right? You say that it could be a double double. Wow, sick, isn't it? Check. And now, if J, do you think? Peter has checked with the intention of check raising all in. Yes, I do. He knows that JC doesn't have a king ten. He could have just a ten here. 000. In which case, he folds. Don't do it, Peter. <laughs> He's got him again, Roland. He's got him again. There are spades in the deck. And I mean, you can't blame Eastgate. He, as you said, I mean, he could have folded he, Tran, and an ace could be good as well as the spade. It's not though. He's got a card. He's got. He's got a shot to win it here. Yeah. Wow. Now. Amazing, Roland. I mean, this guy is on track to win three out of three now. Well, I still think he's an underdog, but uh, you know, it's, he needed that those two early double ups, and we could be here for the duration. This is the guy, the poker player's all name, as the one to look out for. JC Tran's tournament record over the last two years overshadows everyone else in the world. WPT champion, player of the year, and he's also a WSOP bracelet winner. Am I satisfied with two wins, or, or do I want more? And, and I tell myself I want more. I want, I want to keep winning. Winning is a great feeling. So I'm going to bring in the confidence that I, you know, I had building up, but I'm not going to bring the satisfaction, you know? I'm just going to come in like I haven't won one yet and, and, uh, and try to win one. I don't ever remember getting heads up with stacks like this with well, the blind still at two and 4,000. I mean, this is a, tr a rare treat we're in for here. Now, those who uh, watched Eastgate's heads up on the uh, internet in the World Series main event, it lasted over 130 hands. I mean, it was some kind of, uh, some kind of duel. Cool. And I feel like JC right. Tran is pretty comfortable Head to head. Build him and hold him. Yeah. He'll he'll fancy his chances now. A little bit of momentum. From what I understand, Roland, when JC won his bracelet this year at the World Series, he was five a five thousand. to one underdog starting the heads up. Is there an opportunity here for JC? He skates bet at five. With bottom middle player, sorry. Thanks. Thought about asking the question, but thought better of it. Again, JC. JC hasn't really put a foot wrong today. 
When's the last time you saw JC put a foot wrong? Have you played with him much in America? That sort of thing. We play. I've seen him. Pl I've seen him make mistakes. I mean, he. he uh, every poker player does, but he's he is one of the top tournament players out there. Would you like to find out who wins between the unstoppable force and the immovable object? That's what's going on right now. Nice, 11,000 total. The unstoppable force has come through over 6,500 players in the last couple oh. months. And five, so four so far tonight. And Tran is immovable, yet to be defeated in this Premier League. But Eastgate's been checking. He's, okay. Is this too much of a of a tendency where now Tran feels like he has ace high? <laughs> well, uh, do you know what I mean, Roland? Is 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 Eastgate doing too much checking okay. on the flop after raising before the flop, or Tran's too smart? Thirteen thousand. You might think about. Just calling and betting the river, whatever comes out. And he knows that Eastgate can pick off a big bluff and just gets out of the way. <laughs> Not much table chatter out there, but poker of the highest level. Yeah, absolutely. JC was, was talking to Peter in their first heads up match a little bit. I think when he was trying to lull Peter into false sense of security, but oh, maybe he's, he's trying to work things out now. It's a great duel. I run good against Danish. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Call. No race. I mean, I think Peter is someone who naturally tends towards small pot poker, but feels like it might not be the best in this spot. I don't know. I think he's still confident in his ability to play small pots against JC Tran. Dropping two pairs not the worst idea either. Check. Check. Is it time to start betting? It is. Seven thousand. Ah, he's got a great stare, East Gate. Tran just looks at the flop. <laughs> he's got that's a game phase, isn't it? Wow. Tran makes the right decision again. Not interested it's in the gut take. shot or the overcard. Take. take all the big ones. You say that Tran is capable of making a mistake, Roland. I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Well, you know, no one plays perfect, and uh, I mean, he's, he's not been able to beat the high limit games in, in Vegas. He's not talked about in those circles, but tournaments, he, 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 he's good. But everyone has an off day, um, and that's the interesting thing about this format. You get all the points in the heats. So you've got to win the final. Lines will go up to three and six thousand, Roland, and uh, Eastgate still a huge advantage, but of course, uh, Trans picked up about a hundred k since they started. Even though the blinds are going up, JC Tran basically has oh, nearely fifty to seventy-five percent more experience. big blinds relative to where he started the heads up at at the lower blind level. So he's he's definitely increased his stack commensurate with the raise. I like to play lower or smaller. <laughs> raise to 15,000. Cool. There's another little flop. Because Eastgate's been doing a lot of sort of checking on the flop. This would be a good time for him to check the flop, I guess. 15,000. Overs. Pass. Yeah, you know. I didn't. You just didn't hand it. <laughs> You 
get the feeling now, Roland, that this one's going to go the distance. All the way up. Cool. You just never know when that big hand's going to come up, you know. It's right. gonna come. They're not playing so deep that they can't get away from yes. any hand. Yes. Watching these two, you know, it's an education in a way. For a lot of the viewers, you know, you see how these two guys do it. JC's yeah. flopped big is again. It, yeah. Is it JC that's got it? Yeah. Check. How much showdown value does Eastgate have here? Oh, this might be a bet for value. 7,000. Could be a bet for value. I mean, he's got a gut shot. But, um. Cool. All right, he's just got a deuce to win. I'm going to let him bluff it off, I think. Wow, quad five. And you wouldn't really blame Eastgate okay. for checking with the uh, plan to call a lot of bets here, right? I mean, he's got... He's got the nut no pair. Yeah, I mean, he he does have the nut no pair. Um, might well be calling a bet here. JC's going to size it exactly right. Nineteen thousand. That's more than half the pot. I don't think he might be splitting against other kings. There's not much that that JC could have here. He could have a five, the five. He could have fives and threes, a pocket pair, or ace high. I mean, uh, five full of aces. That's why I think he might get paid. But no, Peter does well to get away. No. That's a, you know, and that's, I mean, just not being curious. That's a sign of a great player, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a draw? Tell you a draw? I'll tell you later. I can't tell you now. Four two five. It's it's a lot of chips still. Denmark versus the USA. Well, Are you expecting yeah, to see both these players at the final button. table? Uh, I know it's early in the Premier League, Roland, and I don't know you expect to be there yourself. But are you expecting to see both these players there? I think JC with his points now is uh, is looking pretty good for it. Eastgate okay. actually really needs these extra four Seven points thousand. for the win as far as the league tables yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, JC's look uh, like he's going to lock up a spot. Right. Um, Eastgate there's taking that one. bagel his last time out. <laughs> big, you know, the difference right now between 12 and 16 is massive. 12, he's in the thick of the pack. Yeah. And with 16, he's in a solid second. So but It will change. I mean, it's going to change. We're not even halfway through yet. You know, you can't count out players like Phil Helmuth. You can't count them out. You can't count out Dave Elliott. You've got the ability. Yourself. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've had a, a fifth and a third. I know that there's more to come. 12,000 in there. Tran limping with the, uh, the eights. And this could be payday time Seven for him. How does he want to play it? There's one over card. Thank you. He might play a trappy. Cool. I think he's playing it like I thought. I thought he would play it. I mean, there's also straight possibilities on the turn. Eastgate has the backdoor diamonds. That's going to... Uh, Eastgate's only going to like his hand more now. And Tran, they both will. Check. And uh, Tran's going to bet now. Check. Wow. Oh, I'm surprised about that. It, it, could Eastgate have a jack here in this spot? I mean... Or would it be a really weird way to play a jack? Or it would be a strange way to play a jack. I'm sure Tran thinks that he's best. He's in the call and win. 15,000. Is there a raise here for him? Is there any reason to no, raise? No, I don't think there's, there's, there's much reason to raise. I mean, Tom Dwan might say that you should be raising, but... Cool. And I, I just said that that happened so oh. many times in their heads up last match. Where Peter made a like bet the on the river. Idea, yeah. <laughs> the worst time. <laughs> this is the fifth time. It happened. It just happened over and over again, Roland. He made a bet on the river, the convinced like that when JC called, he was ahead. Yeah. And then JC just turns over the better hand. And it, it, it starts to eat at you, doesn't it? It's like a, one of those 
machines that you get at the airport, and Peter's yeah. running much faster than the, the, the yeah, thing that's carrying the suitcases <laughs> round. And so every time he gets on, he's surprised at how slow it's going, and it takes him off balance. And JC's playing his hands slower. Peter's running much faster. Here's another firework matchup. Top pair for JC and flush draw for Peter. What's the most interesting card? Ten of hot. Oh wow. <laughs> Jake. Will Peter get paid off if he bets? Thirteen thousand. Yes. If JC can make this fold, we well, he, he can't. No. I mean that's the first thing. Cool. He's he might be able to fold the river depending on what comes. Well, that's a straight flush for Peter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Twenty five thousand. And obviously that diamond made Tran now a flush, so uh, what would your thought process be here if you're JC? Well, you go back through the hand, um, you know, Peter, check the flop and bet the turn. Did he bet it on the draw? Straight flush. Straight flush. <laughs> Just got him by a bit. And, uh, yeah, he's running pretty good. He's playing pretty good, too. 450,000. Well, we've already seen some huge hands in this heads up, and... What looked like a mop-up job for Peter Eastgate is suddenly becoming a little more tricky. We're ten hands away from it going five and ten thousand. I mean, ten hands is an eternity, obviously. But they actually, you know, the hands got, the, the blinds seem to go up much quicker when your head's up. No. Wow. Now this is, um... Well, it's trying but he doesn't want to make a big pot out of position. Wow. You would be willing to get the chips in here if you were J.C. Tran. The over cards in the flush draw, right? Yes, you would. Six thousand. He's he's a favorite, actually. <sighs> and if he skate raises there, then the money in. goes in. I want to see a a queen on the turn. There's an action on the five. Now it's J.C.'s turn to make <laughs> the nuts. Jeez, we got some big hands here. And look at this. Eastgate's got the queen of clubs. I mean, it's he'll have to like that as a side card, won't he? You know, he's got out, don't you? Yeah, that's what you're right. The deuce oh. or the five? Yeah. The deuce or the five. But I mean, e Eastgate, right now, don't you think he's quietly funking for a club? He is. He's in trouble. Now, how's the Riverside? Check. Oh, don't make that value bet, Peter. Don't do it again. Did you check? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, I'll check. Wow, yeah, well played, nice. Peter. Walk out, block. He's king. Peter's going to be relieved, and psychologically, he'll yeah. feel I could have lost a lot bigger pot than that. Right. For Peter Eastgate, coming through 8,000 runners to win the World Series of Poker obviously takes both luck and skill. One thing's for sure, everybody's got an opinion. Peter Eastgate is a freak. I mean, anyone that can win the World Series main event is just, uh, he's blessed. You know? He's equal to God at the moment. He has obviously has to prove he's not a one-hit wonder, you know. He he's obviously knows how to play poker. He knows the hand rankings and whatever. Whether he belongs in this field is, is questionable. Peter Eastgate is not a fluke world champion. Peter Eastgate is a really well thought out kid. I felt like him winning the World Series of Poker he was the best player at the table when they got down to five players. I mean, I give him a lot of credit. He played great, but I want to see how he plays against real players. I wonder how much you would call a river there. All right, let's go. Cool, all right. Let's slow play my East King again. Wow. Tran's getting some hands, and you'd never know it by the pre-flop action. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. 6,000. He's got a flop here. Cool. Yeah, he's got Eastgate in a bit of a bad spot. Eastgate's the best, you know, that's probably Eastgate's I'm best card is a face card right mm -hmm. now, huh? I'm drawing dead. You just said he's drawing dead. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. 
Only picked up a draw now. <laughs> oh. He's... Okay. Good check there from East Gaze. I think he's starting to get a hang of this, don't you? Yeah, he's getting a hold of what, you know, the way JC's playing. Is it is it time for JC to switch up? Clap passing. Well, that was clever. JC pretty much knew he wasn't getting a value bet out of Eastgate there, no matter what, huh? My deck queen is the only hand I can beat. <laughs> <laughs> you must have East High. No, you can't have East High there. Oh, well. Well played, Peter East. Uh, he's, get ah, these the guys are playing good, Roland. There's not a chip open. thrown away in anger or curiosity. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shows in the ace, but Peter's yeah. so confident enough to know JC's tricks. <laughs> yeah. You must have an under pair. Or you hit your seven. <laughs> okay, let's call it a tie. Do you think we're starting to get a feeling <laughs> rolling that nervous. Peter's going to be one of those World Series of Poker champions who's going to go down you know, more along the lines of the guys who can really play. If you know what I mean? Yes, I mean, he will. I mean, there's so many people these days who can play, but, you know, he's definitely one of them. And uh, what an achievement, too. 7,000. Double gut shot here. Cool. Yeah, five would give Eastgate the free roll, sort of. Check. We haven't really seen any of these sort of two and three barrel bluffs. I mean, that hasn't really been a feature of this heads up. Or about these sort of little tickle value Five bets. Yeah, we haven't seen much, uh, much huge action or, you know, people. Trying, they're just both playing very, very well. And, and I'm sure Tom Dwan would find fault in what they do, but he, I, I was, I was actually in, interested to hear his commentary last week. He, he does analyze the hands. Uh, in depth. It's fascinating. I mean, he's, he's very original the way he thinks about no. things. Not out of position. I think a lot of people disagree with him and some agree with him, but it's, he's he's the most original. He has to be one of the most original voices in poker right now. Uh, it's great great to have him in the Premier League. I think he's been, uh, Tom Dwan Durr has been a real addition. Yeah. And he's not out of it yet. <laughs> I mean, just looking ahead to next week. Oh, it's, cool. oh the, the next yeah, match is to me. Going. Everyone looked when they when There's the draw the came out. Up. People looked at the the next match in. and said that it's is the close. looks like the match of the whole Premier League of the of the league table. Possibly the match of the Premier League ever. Yeah. Race to fifteen thousand total. Oh no, JC's called every one of Peter's raises. Finally, the aces. <laughs> yeah, it sucks when that happens. All right, I feel like I'm going to raise this hand. Yeah, I mean, that, my range. Uh, who do you think, in the just looking ahead the to, the, to the next the lineup, who, who do you think is going to plot amongst that, and who do you think is going to struggle? Honestly, Roland, I, I, I'm waiting for you to win one of these. I'm pretty sure that it's that the time is right. I mean, I'm, I'm nearly positive. I feel a big I'm nearly positive. But I, I've, got, I've got the feeling that Helmuth is going to is going to sort of dig down for his best game. Um, what about Dave Elliott? Devilfish, Devilfish has not been very lucky. I think there's going to be yeah. Tony I, I, G's okay. in the mix. He's stirring things up. And Andy Black will never be afraid. And amongst it all is Tom Dwan. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. We don't know who will be the loudest. Dw Dwan has played fantastic. He really has so far. And, uh, Check. But he's not going to hang about, is he? Look at this uh, flop okay. for JC. Flush draw. King high for Peter. Check. These guys are taking a little time okay. off. But is is Peter starting to... In, is he starting to think? Their thoughts are going to be said. Just okay. keep waiting, keep okay. waiting. If you maintain your stack, yeah, the pressure is on. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I don't think I can bet you out of this one. Okay. Because these are not. Let's go. I don't have any side. Not king high. 
Have Queen Knight. <laughs> and when does the time come? Does it come next level? I mean, time even is on Peter's time side. Time is on the side. 510 isn't even the time they're going to get moving. You know. Yeah. I win all the ASI King High 715. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, no you know, there's, well. there's a lot of time. Unless a hand yeah, comes up, it could be a... Uh, look like a short short haul. We're I flop big. Longer. There's been a subtle shift all of a sudden in the play. Uh, JC has just started to raise a little bit, use that option from the button, and he's actually passed two hands from, you know, this is the last 10 hands, rather than the limp, limp, limp. Um, no yeah, Peter's very much in, in, the, in the limp. With, uh, yeah, he raised with 9-3, he's mixing it up well, Peter. <laughs> they both obviously flops. This could be a, you know, interesting here, they, they both got a sort of hand where when one hits, the other can hit. Much more fun when they both miss. Although, I guess he, he's... 6,000. Cool. He's, he has the best hand and the best draw. That was... Was that a good card for JC? Or you, you're you the kind of guy who likes to say, you know, about this, people making the mistake of catching a little bit of something and all of a sudden feeling they don't have to bluff when actually they still do. Yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly how it is. <laughs> you will get, uh, it's, I think there's a pair, but they know that's not the best hand and that's something Tom Dwan will tell you very much. He's very good at that. Bluffing when you think he's got something that might have shown on value but doesn't. Back in the green room, they're going to be thinking, you know, what are we doing here? I, I think the Nadmadech has a lot of re reason to feel the grieve. He's lost every coin flip. He's run very badly. He's, I think he's been one of the better players. Yeah, I'm, you know, this, this is one of those... He's sitting six points after three heat. I mean, Roland, this is one of those formats yeah, where they this year has provided some incomplete information because the people who have been playing this for a couple of years... Um, that, that would be impressive if he was just to fold this in this situation. He limped, and obviously he didn't limp with the intention of, uh, of folding for the raise. Wow. How could you do it? How can he? Tell me. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't even seem to look at Peter. He just... Do you have an ace? No, he can't. No, you can't no, have an ace, but he did. Wow. That is really, no. really... Yeah, you can't fold an ace on the button, yeah. that's for sure. That's pretty, you pretty excellent play there. It's just ridiculous. Blinds are going to go to 5 and 10,000 now. And JC has just inched a little bit more up. But Eastgate still got the lead. Nearly 2 to 1. 5 and 10,000. And JC all of a sudden oh. now... He's nearly 20 big blinds. Right, 15,000 yeah, more. Cool. And Roland, this time, Eastgate makes the raise from the big blind, and Tran has not folded. It's a little bit of a different hand. He doesn't have an ace. He's got actually got live cards. Big flop for Peter. Indeed, two overs and a flush draw. 25,000. And there's every reason to assume right now, Roland, isn't there, that JC didn't call before the, the flop w with the intention of just automatically folding no, it. No, of course, that's not his hand. He's he, he's trying something out here. Uh, obviously, the, the spade is, is, is going to sink him, but this is interesting. Wow, I mean, that's a really interesting card. Does, does JC have ways to win this pot that don't sure. include hitting the king or eight? Yeah, I think a bet here may... It, it, it's the real best card in the deck for, for, for JC um, that, that hasn't... So he's not, call, he's, not, he's not thinking about the showdown value of the king. He's not going to be betting for value here. This is, this is something else. Is this a bet to, to get Peter to fold a lonely ace? Yeah, I'm not sure that Peter will fold it, though. I think that Peter, Peter's coming... I don't know. It's such a tough spot. Obviously, he's got, you know, he's got six outs against a ten. He's got no outs against a five, and he's got lots and lots of outs against a bluff. In a way, sometimes he can ask the question by calling. He can ask, "Does JC follow it through?" But no. Wow, oh, played wow. well, played JC. Kind of I thought it's a right, turn. Oh, let's go. 
JC made a really clever turn sort of bluff that turned the, the heads up on its head. And it was oh. just a key crux moment. And oh, this wow. again, that, that 50,000, it's that nearly made him level. He seems like an immovable object, Tran. It's like trying to squeeze chips out of him. He's so steady. I mean, JC, isn't he? As, as, much, as many moves as he has, temperamentally he's steady. I think he might be, of all the players in this format, he could be the, the second steadiest that I've seen. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, Roll, but I kind of feel like the most powerful weapon against JC Tran be somebody like Tony G. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Of course. I think I do think that of all the steady players, players we've seen, JC is probably the second, second of all. Who do you think's the first steadiest, Roland? Oh, of course, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> 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 you're, you're talking about the big man himself. The right? big man himself. Big, oh no, the ace has come on the turn. Big TR. Big TR. And did he skate miss a bet on the flop, or is that just results oriented? That's a bad flop for two nines. He's gonna get away from it. Yeah. Twenty thousand. He really hates this. He really, really, really hates this. His. All of a sudden, it just feels like, obviously, the deck has helped out Tran a bit. But there's something about the rhythm where, you know, Eastgate's rhythm is just a little bit off. He's been making great passes on the river, though. He has. And every time he's made a great pass on the river, Roland, Tran has tried to convince him it was a bad pass. Has that aided his confidence? There's too much that JC could be value betting here for him to, to, to call. And Should have put the time any in. draw got there. There's nothing he's really beating. He's not valuing a serve. I mean, it's just that's it. He just he feels so weak if he folds again. But yet, you know what? King nine, he's beating. But there was no bet on the flop, was there? No. I mean, that's the only thing that might cause him to call. <sighs> Well, like he's beating four or five suited, isn't he? I mean, I don't know. Couldn't it just be this just ridiculous, you know, this this just bluff? This has all been river? checked. It could be. It's been checked all the way since the raise before the flop. No. Oh. And I think part of what's got to him, Roland, I mean, yeah. on, but it's just, just sort of the repetition of it. Every time he's passed on the river, yeah. JC has said, oh, you made a bad pass. You must have had nothing. And just finally had to look him up. Yeah, sometimes you just have to look someone up eventually. And he'll get the, just the information there and hopefully regroup. He's bored, JC. Tired and bored. Just <laughs> boring winning these every in time. <laughs> Ten. I tell you what, I mean, it was only twenty thousand, but that's how serious Peter takes this game, isn't it? He yeah. he he wants to play perfect, and he's he ain't far off. Well, I spoke to Peter before this started, and he said, I just was, you know, speaking about the important things right. to him, and I said, you know, when are you going to get your hair cut? And he said, I'm, I, every oh. quarter that I win nine million or more, I'm not cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, and I, I feel like in this heads up that there actually have been quite a lot of flops hit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the cards have just, I think the cards have just fallen towards JC a little bit. He's playing great, though. It's really fascinating to watch, you know, for yeah. the poker connoisseur or anyone in, who plays on heads up online or, you know. This isn't two guys who are blasted. This isn't, 
you know, Tony G against Phil Helmuth. But this is two fantastically gifted individuals. Yeah. Respected in the game. A great title. Their name. I mean, look at the titles throughout the, throughout the Premier League. It's, it's fantastic. We've got... And, and what this... What this heads up to me looks like it's going to come down to is just those extra value bets. The extra 10,000 you can squeeze out. The guy who's going to make the extra call. The guys who's going to who's going to make the good lay down. That's really at the highest level what it's coming down to, isn't it? Check. 12,000. Of course, it's way for thin. This the difference. Roland, um, Peter Eastgate has had the chip lead at every single stage of this head up. However, the gap has never been so narrow. Yeah, it's it's been closing all the way. And now we're at the stage where, you know, it's more of a conventional heads up. We're, we're, we're ticking forward towards that 715 level. And I don't know how JC Tran has done it. I mean, they've, we've kind of been lulled into other conversations. Sometimes, you, you know, it's been a long one, but Tran has just gotten that extra big blind at every single stage. Yeah, he, he's he's won all the pots where they have similar hands. Here, he's, I, I'd imagine he's going to win this one too. How? How is he going to win it? Well, he's he's got the position. Eastgate hasn't really fired multiple barrels. Uh, obviously, if he knew what JC had, now's the time. Can he can he dig down here? Can he find another barrel? Is there cause for it? The tough spot for Eastgate. I actually think he wins yeah. it if he. Takes it again. Okay. Now I now it's gonna be very interesting. Yeah. You know, why has Tran checked? Now Eastgate wins. Forty thousand. And a lot of confidence. That was bit of it's pretty sizable, that pot. I mean Yeah. Just 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 pushes him back out, you know. He did not leave crumbs on the table. It's a seven to five chip lead now. <laughs> it hasn't been easy. You know, it started off so easy, but he's in a battle here. It's good. I mean, who? no, no points should be given to you in the Premier League, should they roll? No, I mean, JC, uh, was a big dog when we come into the, the heads up. He doesn't give up, and it, he, he's trying to shear Eastgate. And looking at the, the haircut of Eastgate, it takes a big pair of scissors. Yeah, it's just like shearing a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> there are flops here where we get action. I like his haircut. I do too. Check, check. Eastgate is he's, he's like I've had enough of this betting bottom pair for value. You bet your own hand, JC. 20,000. Then I'll call. Call. Cool. <laughs> uh, how, how confident is JC? I mean, if it comes to a sort of blank, is, is there a value bet on the river here for JC? There is now. Oh, yeah, there is now. It came rather nicely for JC. It's an interesting card, isn't it, Roland? Because obviously, if if such a nice yeah. bet size actually there, Jesse, that that was exactly what I thought in my head. Cool. Oh, this is getting frustrating for Eastgate. Wow. Purple. He's got the chip lead for crying out loud. Yeah, he switched it around. Amazing. This game will, I mean, demoralize is not the word. If Tran goes on to oh, win this, sorry. Roland, no this way. particular match, um, I mean, among the things he's shooting for is Phil Helmut's record of winning four Premier League heats out of six. Yeah, and a, a place in the final looks assured almost. Do you think it's possible that another one of Phil Helmuth's records could fall during this Premier League? <laughs> They're falling all the time. Oh, well, look, there's... <laughs> the three would be a pretty sick card, wouldn't it? Check. Twenty-five. 
Twenty thousand. Okay. JC's got to be feeling good about it. Yeah, it's um, it's it's sort of like the the, the double right now. The, the Eastgate, his confidence is low. The flops are giving him very difficult decisions. The cards aren't great. I mean, that's the triple actually. Yeah, things are good. Life is good. Raised to twenty-four thousand. Now, Tran's only got a, about a a, cool. a slight lead on Peter, but it must feel. I mean, Peter must really start to feel like he's short stacked here. Indeed. The raise has been to 24. Check. What do it mean if JC took it? It would be a tremendous bunching in behind of players between... You know, you could be looking at a situation at the end of next week where we're halfway through and... Yeah. You know, the majority of players have, have between 10 and 15. Well, and look at that. Did you see, just see that pot rolling? I mean, Tran bet on the flop there with the five high. Eastgate had the straight draw. I mean, obviously he doesn't have overcards, but he, he's he's getting run over. And I mean, now Tran is running him over. I I, I think um, that part, if if that was trend was to continue, Eastgate would be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. You you can't just start calling and then checking folding, and that you just can't be doing that all the time now. He's giving Tran yeah. too much. I mean, Tran's raising there with four or five offsuits. It's, it's, it's been hot and cold for Eastgate. They call him Slalom. That's his nickname. Oh. They call him Slalom. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> well, Peast, P Eastgate. Peastgate. <laughs> Peastgate. <laughs> Check. 10,000. Cool. He started playing very fast, Peter. JC started playing very fast, too, and this is a uh, sort of a tactic when things are going well for you, right? Okay. JC's trying to play fast. 20,000. Peter won't know just how lucky he got. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what was Tran's plan here? Was Tran's plan sort of hope for a check turn and bluff the river? Was it, I mean, what? Did he just sense weakness? He definitely floated him on the flop to see what he did on the next street. Now he's bet again. Do you think he might actually have a physical tell on Peter when he just sort of has this feeling about the way he puts his chips in if he's weak or strong? You might think he has the best hand. I mean, is he, is he just just red strength now? It's, it, you almost feel like that's what's going on here. Well, it's much more difficult to call on the on the turn than it is on the flop. When oh right, okay. You know, to float to float the flop and float the turn to bluff the river. Be Pass. JC again when he had the best hand, he put the money in. I just that'll give confidence to Peter though. Yeah, but it was just something about that hand rolling that made me think that JC's got some kind of feel. You know, he sort of like changed his fair. changed his mind. No, I just it's, 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 it's possible. I mean, JC Tran, experienced player, Peter Eastgate, not that experienced live. Probably hasn't played anywhere near the amount of live play. And a lot of Peter Eastgate's three more chances here rest on his the confidence he has from winning. Right, hopefully three more heats, you're right. Raise to twenty-four thousand total. Cool. Trans raising with anything now on the button. And if Eastgate misses the flop, is he capable of just check and fold him again? Well he hasn't missed it, he's really hit it hard. Check. Wow, that's a good good check from Tran. Really good Sick, check. Sick, wasn't it? Spade. He does have a spade, JC. 25,000. Wow, that was great instinct from JC there to slow right down. Really, really, really good instinct. Not to continuation, but maybe, he, maybe he's got something on Peter. When to continuation and not. He's been spot on. But they're back to even, and Peter Eastgate is, is turning it round. Yeah, it feels like he's he's rested the uh, the chips back, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. Train's just train's just awesome. But the blinds going to seven and fifteen starts to be equalized, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Starts to kick in. Well, Roland, the blinds are now seven and fifteen. 
is it a is it a new heads up now? Well, I think it would be good for Peter Eastgate if he can think of it as a new heads up, like a starting from scratch oh. game. Raise twenty five thousand more. Right now, if Tran, if he calls, this is a big pot. Yeah, indeed, and he, he has to be able to win to win he, with the he, worst hand here. He's got the here. position. Yeah. Um, which means that if Eastgate misses, he might be able to do something. It, it, but already, you know, he's he's invested a decent amount here. No, they both missed. Check. Eastgate's been checking a lot without the hands. I think Tran is going to have a bet at it. This is this is the importance of position. If Eastgate, if there was ever a time for a check raise, it's now. But how would he know? Thirty-seven thousand. How would he know? I'm all in. Yes! Wow. All in. He showed it to him, didn't he? Yeah. I thought that was coming. Yeah. Still well bad. played, Peter. He's yeah. That was really, really good. I mean, for momentum, he had to send that message that this is possible, and not only is it possible, it was. He's possible. gone two to one chip leader. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, and not only did he do it, he did it with not much oh, of a hand. Oh, man, I felt that was coming, too. Mm. Wow. Wow, that was... He showed him. And, and JC folded quick enough where Peter's pretty sure that JC didn't have much, right? There's been a lot more play than there's ever been in one of these before. I've, I, this is one of my favorite heads up at all time in this format. Raised to 34,000 total. Come on in. We raise all in. Yeah. Now, does Tran have to consider mm. this? Wow. What do the pot odds say? I mean, it, it's, uh... <laughs> if Tran <laughs> folds here, he's going to have about 150 again, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, this is... 163. He could be really dominated, and I think he's... I think he's going to let it go, and he probably should let it go. He knows he's n not going to be in a good spot here. I think he'll be up against Queen Jack suited. He's probably n thinks he's in not that bad shape, but I think that hmm. just he's going to not have a good enough hand to go with it. Another good play by yes. Eastgate. I mean, it was a risky play because I mean, obviously the ace deuce is not uh, not a great hand to be to be in the in the heads up with, is it? Well, an ace heads up is massive, and people at home who play, you know, nine-handed holding with their friends will think, you know, ace deuce all in. But when you're just playing one-on-one, -on -one, the ace becomes very valuable, especially against an aggressive button raise from a player like J.C. Tramp. Do you think, Roland, that if you give everyone enough time, sooner or later they have to go back to their roots? I mean, you know, Peter Eastkin all this time, at, at heart, he's a Scandinavian poker <laughs> player, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> raise to 32,000 total. And I'm guessing this is, a, I'm guessing. Yeah, this I mean the cards have just started to switch around, which is, you know, the timing of it all. And this is a call for uh, for Eastgate if JC Tran raises all in, cool. I guess. Now uh, JC, I think JC might be taking too many flops here. You know, he's putting in a lot here, trying to play poker when, you know, the right thing to do is just put the money in sometimes or, or fold. He's had some success with the stop and go. I mean, I wonder. That's a tough one. Yeah. Check. It's a raise his flop, but Peter, every time he checks it behind, he doesn't have it. The yeah. problem would be if, it, if it's a heart here for JC. <laughs> this is one where JC's going to have trouble bluffing. 20,000. Call. And that call from Eastgate, it, it looks like it could be sort of it a... It could a be the 10. Yeah. Okay. Could be anything then, right? Could be the 10. Yep. Check. Now Eastgate has but to check to win, but doesn't it doesn't look like he has he has showdown value, does it? Check. You win. No pair. Eight high. His high. <laughs> mm. That was a key pot. I mean It was a key pot indeed. He's got to the like back to the five hundred thousand mark. Just had the best hand, that that but heart on the turn gave him the calling value. See, and where JC was getting the luck of the one of the cards before, now he's now it's going against him. Um, it, he, JC, you, you could think, was a bit unlucky the way the cards came out. But again, he, 
He's called the Raiders out of position with a bad hand. I, I don't I don't like the way that he played that. I think this is the first I sort of mistakes we've seen from JC in the whole of in the whole of the league. And it was significant, Rome, because difference between 160, obviously, and 99, it's that extra double up. I mean, Teeter can now take that free shot. Nice. Look the knees, I call. It's right now yeah, down to know. this is what it is. That's what I've got. I'm gonna take my shot at five cards and then we can start. JC over. said he's got an ace, the second card, A seven, okay. This is this I think is his free shot. Mm-hmm. 60 40. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Peter Eastgate. He has gotten that over is the line. Form. Over the line. So JC Tran, they found a way to beat JC Tran. It was running against Peter Eastgate's luck. I think it has to be an ace of seven or a queen. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Slender outs now. Peter Eastgate. <sighs> well played. He, 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 he dominated. He had a blip. These two were the standout players today, the real stars of the show. They were, and it's going to mean great things oh, for the point standings. Of course, Tran yeah. still ahead, but now Eastgate starting to make a, his mark you, on fun. the journey to the <laughs> final table. Let's have a look at the stand. Like well, Peter Eastgate did the deed tonight. That 10 points put him in a solid second. Six points for JC. He is running away. 10 points clear of the field after three matches. Not bad for Yuha or Vicky. And in the playoff zone, Annette Oberstadt taking the bagel. She is running in place right now on this leaderboard. The others have a game in hand in the relegation zone. Then Odd Medic, he got a couple points, but it wasn't enough. And with six points, he's going to really have to start to move his last three matches. If I just stick to the style I'm playing, the way I'm playing, I think I'm I'm a lot for the, the final heat. So, uh, but you know, I can never, you know, get out of line and get carried away. So I'm still playing. You know, hopefully win a couple more. I thought I was I was losing it, and um, yeah, he, he plays incredibly well. Uh, you see, he's very tough competitor. Um, one of I think like a world class player, and uh, it's always tough to play him. Next time, it's the battle of the loudmouths in the most confrontational match yet. Today, I feel some pressure. That's a bike's out. <laughs> I mean, have you lost your mind? Seriously. No, oh, Fish, you said something oh. stupid. You know it. Are you trying to tell the world that you know more about poker than I do? Did you ever say anything nice to me, Annie? My girlfriend thinks you look like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs>